Heather from the Friendship Factory and today I'm going to teach you how to make a beautiful satin cord bracelet called the Julie pattern. It looks like this. I love it because it's crisscross and it's so pretty. And we're going to make it on my cord friendship bracelet maker. This is an awesome product made by the Choose Friendship Company. I love it because you open up the drawer and there's a variety of pre-cut threads in your favorite colors. I love the satin cord. It's so pretty, shiny, and bright. And it's a lot of fun to make these, so let's get started. Your first step is to open up the drawer on my cord friendship bracelet maker and pick two of your favorite colors out of there and you're just going to make them evened up and fold it in half. Then there's going to be a loop at the top and you're going to tie a simple knot where the loop is. And then the loop should be at the top inside of the knot and the loop should be about one inch in diameter. To start your bracelet, you are going to place the loop at the top of your bracelet in the bottom of the treble clef on my cord friendship bracelet maker. And then you are going to take one color string and put it in slot one and then another color in slot six and the pegs on the bottom of my friendship bracelet maker. And then the other colors are gonna go to the left and right of the board. To make the Julie pattern, you are going to take the yellow or the cord that's all the way to the left. You're going to put it over the cord that's fastened in peg one and underneath the two cords that are to the right, which is the one in slot six and the one that's dangling. Then you're going to take the dangling string all the way to the right and you're going to put it over top of the string that's in peg six. You're going to put it underneath the string that's in peg one and then up through the loop or the four. Then you're going to tie the knot tight and bring it to the top of the bracelet. That's just step one of the pattern. For step two of the pattern, you're going to take the yellow string or the string that's all the way to the right. You're going to put it over top of the string that's fastened in peg six and then underneath the string in peg one and the loose string all the way to the left. It's going to make like a loop. Then you're going to take the string that's all the way to your left. You're going to put it over top of the string in peg one and underneath the fastened string in peg six and then up through the loop and then you're going to pull it to the top. And it's going to start turning into like a crisscross pattern. This is a little bit more complex, but you can definitely get it if you keep watching over and over again. And I'm just going to repeat the pattern over. And you're going to keep doing this pattern until you get to the bottom of the word cord on my friendship bracelet maker. And we're just going to repeat the process again. So you're going to take the string that's all the way to the left. Put it over top of the string in peg one and underneath the two strings to the right. Then the string all the way to the right, you're going to take it over top of the string in peg six, underneath the string in peg one, and up through the loop, and then tie the knot. Then you'll do the same to the opposite side. You'll take the string all the way to the right, over top of the string in peg six, underneath the string in peg one, and the loose string all the way to the left. And then you'll take the loose string over top of the string in peg one, underneath the string in peg six, and up through the loop. And then you'll tie a knot. Just repeat this process over and over again to create the Julie pattern. You will know 
that you're doing the pattern right if you see one color kind of creating an X pattern on the outside and then another color kind of more to the inside just like the yellows on the inside and the oranges on the outside then the other side is opposite. Once you're finished with your bracelet and you have it at the desired length, you're just going to take the strings out of the pegs and you're going to tie a simple knot in the bottom with all four strings. Make sure it's tight so that it stays on there good. And then you're going to measure about an index finger long all the way to your knuckle. And you're going to cut right there. So get out your scissors. Then you're going to take two of your opposite colors and tie a little knot in the bottom. So it looks like that. Then you're gonna do it to the other side as well. Then you will pull the top of the bracelet off of the treble clef. And you can take one of the strings and put it through the loop on your bracelet, just like that. And then tie a regular knot in there. You want to make sure you tie it pretty tight too. And then just tie it together and it makes it really easy to put on and take off. And you see how pretty that is? I love the crisscross shapes that are on there and I love the colors. It looks really awesome. I hope you enjoyed making the beautiful Julie pattern today. It was super fun to make. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you'd like to watch more pattern tutorials. And if you'd like to purchase my cord friendship bracelet maker, you can just go to myfbm.com and it's available for purchase there. For the crafter heart within, make sure you visit our website at www.myfbm.com so that you can check out all of our Choose Friendship products.